Hey everyone, it's Mark from Abandoned Scotland here, and today we're back with a commentary video of the ICI Nobel Explosive Works in Ardia. If you haven't seen the original video from a few weeks ago, you can click up the top right there on the annotation, or in the description link below. To try and give you a sense of scale, the, at one point at its peak, the factory was employing nearly 13,000 people there. So this was absolutely massive. And it had its own train station, its own bank, its own travel agent, its own dentist. So you can imagine just how big this place was um, to cater for that many people. I'll go into a wee bit of the history. Um, it was actually founded in 1870 by a Swedish chemist called Alfred Nobel. Now many of you might actually be more familiar with these prizes, um, the Nobel Prizes, um, which are still around to this day. Initially the factory was used to make dynamite, um, but then later in the future it was used to make other explosive materials as well. But it's dynamite really that's the key interest here, because Alfred Nobel was actually the inventor of dynamite. In his own time he was actually labelled as Dr. Death, um, as many people believe that he created dynamite as a weapon, um, rather than the tool that he claimed that it was going to be, um, and made money through its uses of, as a weapon. Um, and actually at one point a French newspaper erroneously posted up his obituary in the paper when um, it was actually his brother that died. But in the paper it actually condemned him for inventing dynamite and how he should have left a better legacy after his death. Um, and what people believe is that that spurred him on to create the Nobel Prizes um, and obviously most notably the, the Peace Prize. But what he actually done is he left the equivalent of, in today's money, of $250 million or £158 million to establish those prizes. Anyway, on to a bit about the Explorer. We've actually made two visits here, um, and even though we've visited twice, there are still a lot of buildings that we've never got around to seeing, um, and this is partially because part of it still remains active, um, and other parts are covered by the manufacture and storage of explosives regulations, um, which would make this a criminal offence to enter, so you've got to be aware of this um, on walking around. Our first visit there was typical Scottish weather. Uh, the rain was battering down, the wind was blasting off our face from the coast. Um, but hopefully at one point we'll be able to go back and check out some of the places we did miss. Although going by some of the previous documentation I've seen online, um, several of the buildings have now been demolished. One of the places we didn't actually show in the previous video was the Big Idea building. Um, it was actually a millennium funded interactive centre devoted to inventions and inventors. Um, which was opened in the year 2000. It actually lies on the south end of the Ardea Peninsula, um, near the harbour at Irvine. It had exhibits showing the history of explosions and various elements surrounding the Nobel Explosive Works. Unfortunately, it's always struggled with visitors um, and it closed in 2003 with reported debts of around £350,000. And until this day, um, it's been sat unused. Uh, we actually contacted the owners of the Big Idea um, a few months ago, uh, and they stated they had plans to turn it into a golf complex at some point, um, and they would get in contact with us, obviously, as well, uh, when they had further information on those plans. The Big Idea building actually still has security, so uh, we weren't able to have a look inside, but we were able to take exterior shots, which you can see, obviously, on the screen at the moment. Anyway, that's it for this commentary video, so if you liked the video, make sure and like it down below. Uh, leave a comment if you've got any questions on the ICI Nobel factory, um, and we'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. I'd just like to say thanks to Bob Guido as well, who let us use the music in the last two videos for ICI Nobel, so if you want to check out his music, you can click on the link in the description below as well. Anyway, thanks again, and we'll see you next time.